Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox. I hope everybody is staying safe at home. Um, I'm preaching that in every single video for now because it is just what we need to be doing right now. So I hope everyone's having an amazing day and today I'm actually doing another DIY video, but I am not DIYing with your ordinary supplies. We are going to be DIYing with toilet paper rolls and this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now and I'm really, really excited about this because I came up with some really cute ideas that I think you guys are going to be loving and these are definitely a resource that everyone can kind of get their hands on especially right now I feel like a lot of us kind of stocked up a little bit on toilet paper hopefully we didn't hoard up on toilet paper and get 9,000 rolls but I'm sure a lot of us have toilet paper in our house right now just because we are staying home and we need a little bit of toilet paper of course supplied in our homes that we were able to you know what we got to do with it but because I'm sharing with you guys four different projects I did not have enough toilet paper rolls to use in all four projects so I purchased this pack of toilet paper tubes and you can get these on Amazon I will link it below for you guys if you are curious you get 30 tubes in a pack and I just wanted to share that with you because I know that you're gonna see a lot of very perfect looking toilet paper rolls in this video um, and that is because I did purchase that pack just to be able to share with you guys a lot of different ideas that way you could start saving up your toilet paper rolls at home to use in your projects and the second thing that I wanted to mention is that all of the money generated on today's videos through the ads that you guys watch so whenever there's like a little ad break in the video I get a very 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 tiny amount per person it's literally like less than a penny per person but it ends up adding up in the end of course and I'm going to be donating all of the money made on today's video to the CDC foundation to combat coronavirus so keep in mind that if you guys see an ad in this video and you watch the ad fully through I make a tiny percent more and this is not me saying you need to watch ads in all of my videos at all you can skip whatever you want do whatever you feel like you want to do but if you do end up watching the ads a little bit longer than you normally do today on this video you are actually helping donate a little bit more to the CDC foundation and I want to just quickly tell you guys what the CDC foundation donation is going towards and it is going towards funding medical supplies increasing lab capacity deploying emergency staffing to US public health agencies providing support to vulnerable communities addressing health communication needs boosting clinical research to improve health outcomes building capacity and infrastructures for global response efforts and much more so it's donating to a lot of different sectors that are kind of affected by coronavirus and need the funding of course such as medical fields vulnerable communities and also lab research so I felt like this was just a great foundation to donate towards because they're kind of donating to a lot of different sectors which I liked and I'm also going to link their website below in case you are curious and just want to check out a little bit more so everything generated from today's video is going to be donated directly to the CDC foundation which I am extremely extremely excited about okay I know that intro was a little bit longer than usual but I think it was definitely worth it right everybody anyways let's jump into today's DIY projects using toilet paper rolls because I think you guys are going to love them. So let's get started. For our first project, we're going to be using some cement powder, toilet paper rolls, candlesticks, and a hot glue gun. And this is my favorite brand of cement. It is pre-sifted and super smooth. And I just wanted to share with you guys how the larger roll is actually from a toilet paper roll. And then the other one is the store-bought Amazon roll. So I just wanted to show you the uh, size comparison for those. So what I'm starting off by doing is taking my toilet paper rolls and pressing them against a little piece of cardboard. And I am going to be gluing around the outside edge just to create a very secure, tight bond. And I don't want any glue on the inside because we are essentially creating a mold for our cement. So you're going to want to pipe the hot glue around the outside edge and just let that dry for about 10 or so minutes until it is fully dry. And then we're going to be mixing up our concrete powder with some water. And you guys can kind of see the consistency that I go for. I just go for like a very smooth, silky consistency as seen here. And when it reaches that consistency, it is very satisfactory. So I'm going to be scooping this in. And don't worry if you get it on the outside edge. That will all break off once it is fully dry. And I used a popsicle stick actually just to kind of make sure that the cement was just everywhere inside of the mold and I also suggest to repeatedly tap the actual cement mold up and down on top of a tabletop and as you can see here I actually use Vaseline because a lot of you guys mentioned in one of my cement fails in the past that I should use Vaseline on whatever I am putting in the cement and it will come out easily however when these were dry I'm gonna let you guys know right now it did not come out but that is no worry because candlesticks are super inexpensive and I would gladly remake these again so for my next one I'm actually varying the heights of the cement so this one's going to be a full one that is completely filled up with cement so I push my candlestick about two inches down in and I'm using a popsicle stick to scrape off any excess on the top 
And then I am moving on to the smallest one and I only added about maybe two inches of cement in that one, pressed it down in, let it dry overnight completely. And then this was very satisfying as well. You can just cut away the mold and this cardboard is really nice. It just peels away super, super easily. And once you get that big chunk, it is so nice. Like look at how this unwraps. And I am just absolutely obsessed with these. I tried to pull out the candlestick to see if I would be able to just reuse these and put the candlestick back inside, but they didn't come out. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I can use to kind of create a non-stick bond with whatever I'm placing into the cement, please let me know. And if there is any leftover cardboard or you just want to smooth the surface of your cement, you can give a light sanding with some sandpaper and that will finish these off. These turned out super, super cute and I am obsessed with the vibe. I think you guys are going to love this project. I'm using some wooden dowels, a little square box I got at Joanne Fabric, and then some toilet paper rolls and popsicle sticks. So I'm adding glue to half a popsicle stick and securing it onto the inside of one of our toilet paper rolls. And I'm doing the same thing directly across from our first popsicle stick. So you're gonna have two sticks sticking out of the tube and you're gonna do the same thing to your second one. You're actually gonna repeat this for however many bars you want in your jewelry stand. So I'm doing this for the second one as well. And then then what you're going to do after these are dry is you're going to add hot glue to both of the exterior sticks and you're going to press another tube on top. And this is how we're going to get a nice strong bond between two of these. But if you had paper towel rolls, this would work just as well. However, I'm using toilet paper rolls. So I pressed these two together and I'm going to scrape off any of that excess glue. And once it is dry, you can actually just roll it off of the surface. So I'm repeating on the opposite side as well. These are our two little rolls here. And the way that we're going to be actually making them stand is cutting down some wooden dowels. And I have an eight inch wooden dowel and a 10 inch wooden dowel. Then to secure the wooden dowels in, you're going to create a little slit right into the center and just push your dowel right inside and it looks really great and actually finished off so just add some hot glue into the hole add some onto the end of your stick and just press it nice and securely down through the hole and you can actually kind of see inside of that tube to make sure that it is straight so you're going to have two of these and I'm going to be spraying it with copper. I have just been absolutely obsessed with copper lately. I don't know what it is. I swear I left the copper phase like for a while, but I'm kind of back into it. This copper was a little bit rosy, so I wish it had a little bit more of an orange tint to it. And I am next using my Early American Wood Stain from Verathane. This is my favorite one. And I am just going to quickly stain my little wooden block. I thought this was a nice one because this one has these like angled edges to it and it almost makes it look like a pedestal situation when you flip it upside down down, but I believe it's like a little catch-all wooden tray. So I stained that and then I just screwed through uh, the actual surface of this on the diagonal corners and I just made sure that this, the dowels would actually fit inside of there. I let them dry for about an hour and then I'm going to be pressing them down through the holes that we drilled through and they're pretty snug, but what I did was I actually flipped it over and just applied a generous amount of hot glue to the bottom of these just to make sure that they're going to stay holding upright and that finishes off our jewelry stand. Supplies for our next project are super minimal, just toilet paper rolls, pencil, X-Acto knife, and ruler. So what I'm going to be doing is taking a ruler and just drawing a line every half inch down my toilet paper roll. So this clear ruler really comes in handy because I'm able to kind of see the line that I drew prior and make sure that the new line is going to be a half inch apart from it. So you're going to have all of these lines on your toilet paper roll. Now this next part looks kind of hard and honestly it was for me because my X-Acto knife was extremely dull, but if you have a fresh one or if you just go very slowly this is pretty simple and easy not to mention the Amazon toilet paper rolls are just a little bit thicker than your traditional one and you're gonna be repeating the process for all of your toilet paper rolls so you're gonna be using an exacto knife to cut down leaving about a half inch from the start into the end of each cut that you do that way it is not actually separating the roll you're just creating slips down the center so next what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of put your fingers inside and we're gonna be shaping our lantern so what we're going to be doing to shape it is you're gonna press out the center and give it a fold 
So you're gonna do this all the way around and I wanted to do one full lantern with you guys without doing any form of cut. So I am going to be kind of pressing around the whole exterior of this, but from the inside and creating a fold. Then what you're gonna do is kind of just use your hands to push this and as you can see, it's already taking the form of a lantern. So I'm going to be kind of pressing and maneuvering this out and just really, I don't know, just kind of shaping it, you know, like you're just gonna use your hands to shape it and you're gonna do the same exact thing to all of your lanterns. So I'm using that same copper spray paint just to paint these lanterns because I thought it would add a nice warmth to them, especially with the light on the inside. So I'm gonna give these a nice coating of that copper paint. Then I am using these string lights that I've had in my stash probably for like two years now. They're from Target, so I'll try to link them below for you guys. And what I'm doing is I'm just cutting a tiny little slit on each side of our lantern, and you're just gonna be pushing the wire down into the slit. So this is not even something that is going to be permanent. Of course, you could add glue to this to make it permanent. However, I wanted the option to take these off afterwards if I didn't want them anymore. So creating that slit allows you to push your light inside and then pull the wire into the little cut that you created and it has enough force um, between the cut that it's going to hold your lantern in place. It's pretty secure as well. So I repeated the process all the way down, skipping every two lights and then I added a little lantern and that finishes off your little garland. And for our last project, I am using 14 toilet paper rolls, a brass ring, a mirror, and some black paint. So what we're gonna start off by doing is actually cutting our rolls directly in half. So you're gonna cut down one side, then flip it and cut directly above the cut that you just created because we're basically gonna want these half sphere shaped like pieces of toilet paper roll. And I really wanted to create something large scale out of toilet paper rolls. I knew I didn't want everything to be very small. I wanted a larger scale item. So we are gonna be creating a really cool wall mirror that kind of has like a kind of funky retro vibe to it, which I think is really fun. So we're gonna be cutting all 14 of our rolls in half, and we're going to basically be putting them on the exterior of this ring. So I am starting off by just placing them just so I can get like a visual look at what I am working with. This kind of sunburst shape is really, really nice and I am going to be using my Gorilla Hot Glue which is my favorite one linking it below because it works on literally every single surface and holds everything incredibly. I am going to be gluing this down to the actual brass ring and I know there isn't much to glue down but it definitely will hold. Keep in mind that toilet paper rolls are extremely light so we're not really gluing a heavy object onto a small surface. It's pretty lightweight so it definitely holds and bonds down. And I have reached the end. So I'm gonna be gluing in my last half of a toilet paper roll and I'm going to be flipping this over because I want to add the mirror. And I have this mirror from an older project. I'm repurposing it from a project that just didn't work out. And I'm adding a ton of hot glue down the center and I'm using this small piece of wood that I've had in my sash for a while. I actually did cut it down to fit kind of like the length. And I'm adding quite a bit of hot glue at the top and I'm also adding quite a bit of hot glue at the bottom because the only way this mirror is secure is is from that piece of wood. Now, I really, really wish I had spray paint, but I was completely out of black spray paint and I was not about to leave my apartment to go get some black spray paint. So I decided I'm resorting to hand painting this, which is actually pretty therapeutic, not gonna lie. And it took up a little bit more time, which it seems like lately we have quite a bit of time. So I went through and I painted this completely with one full coat of the black acrylic paint. Once we finished this and let it dry, I flipped it over and I painted about an inch and a half to two inches of the inside because you were actually able to kind of see the inside once it was hung on the wall. I painted this as well and you could hang it up and that finishes your wall mirror. Now guys, imagine this in like a pastel pink or like a peach color or a cream tone or something. I think this mirror would be stunning in really any colorway. 
those were all of my projects for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I know some of these projects were a little bit random. Like that mirror is definitely for a particular type of person for sure. But I do think that the really cute jewelry holder and also little candlestick holders are just great for any space. Keep in mind, you can customize a lot of these to match your own color palette or whatever it might be. And I hope this inspired you to kind of save some of your toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls and use them in future projects. And lastly, before jumping off, I just wanted to thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching today's video. This one is much more important than a lot of my other videos to watch because all the money, of course, is going to be donated towards the CDC Foundation, which I think is incredible. And I just want to thank you guys so much for doing a little tiny part in creating a larger donation for the foundation. I will catch you all in my next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. And also follow along over on Instagram for more behind the scenes type stuff, which is Lone Fox Home. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. And I will catch you all in my next video. Have an amazing day. Stay safe, everybody. And also make sure to stay home. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys.